hockey and key and chakra and all this stuff. So. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I got another Shrippum story time for you with full breaths and my Nami Suan. And my Nami Suan. Skina Ichiban. T shirt. This. Um, yeah, so here it is. I'm gonna. This is, I think, I think this might be my last booster box of Japanese One Piece Romance Dawn in getting it ready for the English version because I'm gonna strip them a heck ton of that. Also, and set two is gonna be coming out, so I may be having a big surprise for the set two reveal. I'm very excited to tell you guys about that. But if this is your first time here and you want to be really, 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 really fun. You can hit that subscription button if you're a returning member. Thank you so much. Let's get into the story and strip them. So today's story is a little bit different. Today I'm talking about uh, Qigong. I don't know if you guys have ever heard about Qigong, but I love Japanese anime. I grew up on Dragon Ball. I enjoyed reading the Naruto manga and <laughs> surprise, surprise, I'm a One Piece fan. And in all these stories, there's this stuff like hockey and wait, let's bless my pack. Oh, pack them, bless them. Hockey and key and chakra and all this stuff. So in all these stories, there's this kind of energy that the characters can tap into that has to do with the energy kind of inside of them. And um, this stuff's actually kind of real, believe it or not. I, uh, I learned about it in college and I took this class called Qigong and Qigong literally translates to energy work. So it's basically learning how to use the energy in your body by controlling your breath and your mind. Um, when I went to the first, when I went to the first class for Qigong, they started the lecture, and as they went through the lecture, I was just like, "Wait a second, this actually explains Dragon Ball. This is this is the explanation for Dragon Ball. What is going on? I need to know more." I ended up uh, forming two extra classes because I was so fascinated, and I petitioned for them and uh, designed them with the with the instructor. And I ended up doing some Kung Fu as well, uh, Qigong based Kung Fu. And I was just really, really into the whole world of that. And oh, by the way, it's likely that there's a Shanks or a Yamato in this box, but I'm trying to summon Nami with my Nami energy t-shirt because that would be really awesome to pull her. Anyway, uh, yeah, so um, I started studying this stuff. And, and basically, if you haven't heard of Qigong, it's... Uh, it's essentially like using your breath to focus your mind and moving through your body to kind of control different functions, maintain harmony and balance. And the theory of it, it all comes from traditional Chinese medicine uh, and uh, Taoism and specifically like the yin yang symbol. So if you guys are familiar with the yin yang symbol, um, there's four relationships that govern the yin yang symbol. The first is that yin exists within yang and yang exists within yin. The second is that at the extreme of one, it, there's Nami, we we're just talking about her, but not the Nami that I'm looking for. Uh, at the extreme of yang, it slowly starts becoming yin, and at the extreme of yin, it slowly starts becoming yang. So that's kind of like that fishtail part of the symbol. And um, they're always relative to each other. So nothing's permanently yang and permanently yin. They're only yin and yang relative to one another. And the fourth is that yin and yang are constantly m moving forward in one direction. Um, it's kind of like the symbol itself is sort of spinning and within the yin yang symbol, there's yin yang symbols inside of those. So, um, chi is kind of like key in Dragon Ball or hockey in One Piece or, uh, chakra in Naruto. And if you think about it, it kind of makes sense, right? We're, we're basically these bags of water. The majority of our body is just water. And then there's an electrical signal running through the water at all times so of course there's going to be resistance built up and there's magnetism and a lot of other stuff associated with that and our mind kind of controls where those signals go to an extent in our body right like right now i'm shrimping my brain is telling my hands to strip them and that's making energy come out of my hands also because there's electric electrical signals going from my brain into my hands and there's a bioelectric field associated with that so it is definitely very possible to manipulate that bioelectric field around yourself by using your breath and your mind. And it's something that I learned to do when I was younger and I got very, 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 very into it, but I, I've moved a bit away from it because over time it actually becomes a little bit isolating uh, to 
to be so deep in this mindset and in this belief of how things work and happen. And um, yeah, so anyway, to get back to the, the yin yang symbol, it was really interesting thinking about the yin yang symbol because I, I made this realization that essentially the relationships that govern the yin yang symbol actually def perfectly correlate with the dimensions that we exist in, right? The, the one existing in the other, if you draw that out, that's a line, that's the first dimension. At the extreme turning into one another, if you draw that out, that's a circle, which is the second dimension. And they're always relative to one another and always changing, which is basically how three dimensions work. This is the front of my hand, this is the back of my hand, but now this is the front of my hand to me and this is the back of my hand. They're always relative and never permanent. And they're always moving forward and spinning, which is the same as time, right? Time spins on a clock, it spins on the earth, it's been around the sun and it's always moving forward. You can't make, take a nap and wake up yesterday. So there's a lot of really interesting stuff that goes along with the theory of Qigong and how it works and the yin yang symbol and Taoist philosophy. I would, ooh, kid though. I'd recommend looking into some of that stuff if you're interested in it and doing some research. Essentially what the practice entails is an eight minute drill where you essentially do like a moving meditation. And um, this is the drill that I learned. There's lots of forms of Qigong. Also, I'm sure you've heard of Tai Chi. Tai Chi is associated with Qigong, but uh, the Qigong drill that I was doing was the eight minute drill developed by Master C2. And it uh, essentially, Hori, ore wa butto pass. It essentially uh, is you you focus your breath through the different channels. Um, if you guys are familiar, or if y'all are familiar with um, the channels from Chinese medicine, so in the meridian system, um, there's different lines. If you've ever seen like one of those acupuncture drawings with all the lines all over it, those are meridian systems, or it's essentially an anatomical structure based. That's what Chinese medicine is based on, and that's where qi flows. So chi flows along these different channels and by using your breath, you can focus the chi along those channels. And during this exercise or meditation or mindful, whatever you want to call it, you're essentially flushing those channels and helping chi flow along them. So you have more consistent chi flow. And I've seen some people do some pretty, pretty, pretty crazy stuff, uh, focusing their chi and there's, it manifests in a lot of different ways. There's lots of different practices worldwide where people can just do these kind of like superhuman feats by focusing these different parts of their mind and using their breath. Uh, it's pretty amazing. So, you know, essentially like what I'm getting at is the stuff in this show, though it is abstracted and it is definitely far out. Um, and who Hancock a swan. I haven't pulled a Hancock in a while. That is nice. That is a nice looking piece of cardboard. Though these things are abstracted, um, they're very much real in ways. So, it is really helpful actually, just in terms of your overall health, maintaining healthy organ function and uh, m your control, helping keep your mind clear and using your mind, all these things. They, they, it does help to have a practice if you can keep up with something daily, either if it's yoga or just stretching, Qigong is great, um, Tai Chi, all these different forms of kind of movement-based meditation, I think really help uh, keep your mind, keep your mind in order and keep your body functioning well and actually kind of help prevent some illnesses in life as well. Um, I don't know if you can necessarily do a gum gum red hawk, but there may be something similar that's your version of that that you learn how to do by using your breath and your mind through either some qigong practice or some other form of practice that you might develop. Um, which makes you kind of enjoy these ooh, law. Wow, we got law, kid and boa. Those are some really good SRs. Holy hexagon. Really nice. So if there's no more SRs in here, that means that this is a Shanks or a Yamato box. It would be great if it was a Nami Swan box. I would be so happy to pull another SR, but we got, I got these boxes. I ordered 12 boxes and they didn't come in a case. And I pulled four Altar leaders out of the box so I know that these aren't the right ratios so there is a chance there is a chance that this isn't a Yamato or a Shanks but there also is a chance that it is and we haven't pulled a fourth SR yet so if we only pull three SRs that means that it's going to be a Shanks or a Yamato box but also still haven't pulled the hit out of it yet so that's great I really like not pulling the great thing out of it at right at the beginning so I can kind of go through my story time with still some hype and excitement for what's at the end of the pack at the end of the box 
But um, yeah, I got really into Qigong when I was in college. I practiced a lot. I still practice from time to time. I don't practice as uh, routinely as I once did. Uh, I wish I did, but it's just kind of hard to find the space and the time sometimes with all the different things that I do, but that's not a great excuse. Master C2 would have said, if you can brush your teeth, you can practice Qigong. And I, I sure can brush my teeth. So I, it is something that I would like to improve the frequency and routine in my life. And uh, I'd be curious to hear if there's anything like this that uh, any of, oh, Jack Altar. So it was an Altar in here, which means we're going to get another SR. Not Nami, but it is an Altar. I'm, and that's kind of great because out of these 12 boxes, you only got one Yamato and one Shank. So that's that's kind of cool because getting Altarts is hype. And this man is, this is a hunk, a hunk and a half if I've ever seen one. Well, I started off really hot with this set where all the cards were really liking me and... They think they still like me, but I didn't quite pull the way I was pulling when I first started opening these. There was just so much hype and excitement. Usopp. And there should be one more SR in here. I wonder if it's in the Blossom. Is it in the Blossom? Shrippum? There's got to be one more in the box. Oh, it could also be an Altar Leader. That would be that would be wild if it was, but it's that's Dofi. So this is it. This is the last pack. So this is either an SR or an Altar Leader. An Altar Luffy would be wild right now be kind of crazy to pull five alt arts out of these boxes but there's only one way to find out and the only way is to shrip them but yeah i would love to hear if there's anything that uh, any of you do regularly that you get some of these benefits or mindfulness from and croco boy wow what an sr to end it on that feels like really full circle croco boy has been trolling me for this whole set and i love her so i mean i love him so much um luffy's mom has got it going on she's always there and if you've been reading the manga you know how hype croco boy is right now but yeah i'd love to hear about what y'all do for this this sort of stuff um i'm a dentist i can't end without doing a dental tooth tip so my dental tooth tip to you would be i don't know if you guys look for uh dentists that accept your insurance and I know dental insurance is really weird because it's sort of like this weird coupon where they sort of cover some stuff sometimes. But the thing with dental insurance is it's not actually a system that's designed to really help you. It's a system designed to make money. And the way that the insurance companies make money is by denying your claims. So when you submit a claim and it's something that you need and they're able to say no to it, they profit. So to me, it doesn't really make sense to work with a company that profits off of saying no to my patient's needs. But, you know, as a dentist, you have to figure out how to get money from them when you can. And it's something I definitely do. But insurance companies are kind of whack. So, you know, if, uh, if you're able to afford dentistry and pay for it out of pocket more often than not you're going to get a lot higher quality care not to say that there aren't insurance based practices out there that do deliver great quality care it's just more difficult because of the way that you have to run your schedule because the system anyway thank you so much i hope you guys enjoyed this strip and story time we'll be back soon with maybe another box of romance dawn but more likely some dragon ball zenkai boost if you guys haven't seen it, the new sets coming out soon i'm definitely gonna be stripping them um i may have already stripped them before this with the way that these are coming out actually but there'll be more one piece also big stuff coming for set two yosha i'll tell some more news about that later thank you so much and i'll see you guys next time